Hey everyone, the 2020 election is about a week away and the outcome of the election could land in a number of different ways. Today, I'm going to focus on a single potential outcome and that's the blue wave. Now a blue wave assumes that Democrats retain the House of Representatives, win the Senate and win the presidency. Such an outcome would likely bring sweeping changes that could impact real estate investors. First, a blue wave would increase the probability of a significant stimulus package. The blue wave package would likely exceed $2 trillion, and it would include stimulus checks, expanded federal unemployment benefits, COVID-related housing assistance, financial support for schools and local governments, increased funding for medical testing, and a lot more. Economists from Moody's and Goldman Sachs, among others, have indicated that this stimulus would dramatically boost economic growth in 2021, adding two or three percent to current projections, and it would also accelerate job creation. That would be good news for real estate investors. Accelerated growth would boost consumption, housing demand, people and businesses' ability to pay rent, business expansion, and probably even tourism. But there are also potential risks for some investors. Most prominent would be increased capital gains taxes for those making over $1 million. Currently, the top long-term capital gains tax rate is 20%. Under a proposed plan, people making more than a million dollars would be taxed on capital gains at their nominal income tax rate, which would likely be around 40%. That increase in capital gains taxes would be compounded by a proposal to eliminate the 1031 tax deferred exchange for people making more than $400,000. Now, the first thing we need to remember is that just because a proposal is on the table before the election doesn't mean it will necessarily be enacted. Everyone needs to remember that in the last six years alone, Congress has deliberated the elimination of or significant changes to the 1031 tax deferred exchange. Yet for real estate, it has not been changed or eliminated. A compelling reason is that 1031 exchanges support increased real estate transaction activity, and that in turn generates a lot of ancillary tax revenue. So the blue wave does not necessarily mean that 1031 exchanges will be eliminated, but they could be. Even the possibility of changes to capital gains laws and a potential elimination of 1031 exchanges are things investors need to factor into their strategic investment plans, especially investors who are currently contemplating taking some chips off the table in the next few years. Any investors earning more than a million dollars per year who is considering the sale of a property should closely review the new tax proposals and assess the outcome with their accountant. Investors need to determine if accelerating the timeline and selling under the current tax laws will be better than waiting. Likewise, any investor planning the sale of a real estate asset with an intent to make a 1031 exchange into a new property should also consider an accelerated timeline. If there is a blue wave, it's unknown how long it would take to implement new tax laws. It could happen in 2021, or it might take longer. Ultimately, investors need to balance their short and long-term goals. They need to factor in economic drivers like a new stimulus package with potential tax code changes. This is one of those times when investors need to closely consider their real estate investment strategies and frame up their plans. And in doing that, they need to keep their eyes on the horizon.